Only two awards are mentioned in the AMA bylaws. One is the Distinguished Service Award, which is presented to a member of the association for meritorious service in the art and science of medicine. It is our highest award. Without question, this year's recipient of the Distinguished Service Award advanced both the science and the art of medicine. In 2002, he found substantial brain damage during the autopsy of a 50-year-old former center for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Subsequently, he identified chronic brain damage as a major factor in the deaths of other professional athletes, particularly football players. He called the disease chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. Despite considerable ridicule and the efforts of those profiting from athletic contests, he prevailed. Today, CTE is widely accepted as a clinical entity. The recipient of this year's Distinguished Service Award is Dr. Bennett Omalu. Dr. Omalu's story was told in the movie Concussion, which was released not quite a year ago. His work has led not only to the description of a new disease, but to a cultural shift in America's most popular sport and rules changes to protect both young athletes and their professional counterparts. Dr. Romalu, please join me here at the lectern. No, no, Dr. Amalu. It is my pleasure to present you with this award and to give you the, the lecture. Thank you so much. Um, uh, I'm deeply thankful. In fact, I have tears running down my eyes. Um, and why I have tears running down my eyes, the road has not been easy for me. I have been bruised and battered. Um, but the American Medical Association has risen to the occasion to rejuvenate my faith in all of us, my faith in America. I came to America in 1994 in search of myself, to be myself. I recognize that we all are members of one another. And through my science, I discovered faith. I'm a forensic pathologist. I discovered that science and faith actually go together because science and faith seek the truth. And there can only be one truth. Truth doesn't have a perspective, a perspective, or a sight. Faith seeks the common truth that science seeks. So faith and science synergize with each other. That is why I'm standing before you today. And in practicing the humanity of your faith and the humanity of your science, you must have no choice. Seek the truth and stand with the truth. Because come what may, the truth will always prevail. It may take a long time to come. And please, my fellow brothers and sisters, do not conform to the intelligence of the many. Do not conform to expectations, traditions, cultures, norms of society. Because conformational intelligence denies us of who we are denies us of that common humanity we share. The fact that other people are doing something does not mean you must join them. You must be true to who you are. 
and you must practice the truth of your faith, the truth of your science, and the truth of who you are, come what may. Do not be afraid. I was not afraid. I refused to be afraid. In, in Praha, Czech Republic, last month, one of the senior executives of YPMG asked me, okay, Bennett, what is the truth? The truth is that thing that enhances each and every one of us, that elevates our common humanity. Anything that does not do that, that enhances the humanity of only a select few, or only you, is not the truth. And that was the battle I fought with CTE. I did not fight only against the NFL, but guess what? My biggest battle was with my fellow doctors. With the establishment of the medical in industry, including the National Institute of Health. But today, I'm at peace because of this gift you have given me. You have rejuvenated my hope. And together by faith, we shall do great things. The impossible shall become possible. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This is the